To install your baseboard, locate the wall studs with a stud finder. Check the location by knocking on the drywall and noticing the difference in the sound. I'm using two inch finishing nails. First, nail into the wall stud and then into the wall plate. I'm cutting my outside corners at slightly over 45 degrees to ensure a tight joint. If I had seen these inexpensive miter saw protractors before beginning, I might have got one to take any guesswork out of getting the exact miter saw setting on the corner. Being such a small job with only two outside corners, these joints came out pretty good doing it the old school method. Sometimes you need to shim the bottom edge of the trim due to the gap between the drywall and the floor. This will keep the bottom edge from angling in when you nail it, and that's why I nail the top first. So here is our only inside corner since the others are straight butt joints into our shiplap wall. Coping an inside corner is a fairly easy way to get a tight trim joint without the gaps you might get when cutting the two sides at 45 degrees. The way you do this is you just cut the first piece at a straight 90 degrees. The second piece is then cut with a coping saw along the profile so that it overlaps the first piece when joined together. Before you cut with the coping saw, you need to cut the end at 45 degrees with your miter saw. Then square off the top edge at 90 degrees. This can also be done with a miter saw. For a perfect straight edge cut from the bottom up to the decorative trim at the top, you can use your miter saw instead of the coping saw to make this straight cut. Just be careful not to cut too far. Then finish the remaining curve cut carefully with a coping saw. You should slightly angle the coping saw and the miter saw towards the back when making these cuts so that the face edge makes contact first with the adjoining piece. For a seamless finish, fill in any gaps and your nail holes with a good wood filler. The product that I used is DAP Platinum Patch, which worked very well for me. Here I'm using a sanding sponge to lightly sand off the wood filler. If the first application is not perfectly smooth, repeat the process with a second application before touching up with your trim paint. The vanity wall trim will be installed later after the vanity is built and installed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't miss the rest of the finishing projects in our bathroom remodel. Installing the soaking tub is coming up. See you next time.